Hello everybody, what is up? I'm Julia, friends call me J-Rock. Thank you for stopping by Tumbleweed Logic. We have a really dope unboxing today. You've already seen the title, so let's stop talking and get into the sneaker. This past weekend, Nike released an exclusive version of the LeBron 16, the King Silhouette. They had released the, uh, the red or the maroon version not that long ago, and now they released this exclusive purple and gold colorway to commemorate his first game at the Staples Center wearing the purple and gold. But you guys didn't really come here for the whole backstory. You guys can Google it, Google is free. Let's get into the sneaker. But first, the box. I'll show you guys the top of the box first. So as you can see, they've got this LeBron silhouette right here. And then on this, on this side of the box, they have the face of a lion. Obviously, he's the king. Then on the front, you have the LeBron 16. Here's a close-up of the label, LeBron 16, court purple, metallic gold, size 10 gang. Boom, here it is. The Nike LeBron 16 court purple exclusive King release for Los Angeles to commemorate LeBron's first game in the Staples Center as a Laker. This shoe, you guys have heard me say it before, I'm not a big fan of LeBron's, but this shoe, this one right here though, is a situation, it's a problem. Let me take, let me show it to you guys first so that you can take a look at it. It's a really, really dope shoe. I love the way that they put the purple and the gold and the white, like this shoe is a problem. Now the shoe only released in Los Angeles for obvious reasons. So if you weren't in LA this weekend, and it wasn't like it dropped in all the stores, it, it dropped through Foot Locker, they did a scavenger hunt, and then they had a pop-up, a House of Hoops pop-up at LA Live, and then Nike did a sneaker stash inside the Staples Center during the game. So if you weren't part of it for any of those three events, then you didn't get your hands on this sneaker. But let me give you a close-up of the details. As you can see, the entire upper is made of this battle knit material. So it's like a stronger version of fly knit. And this is like the battle knit 2.0 because the battle knit was on the LeBron 15, but then they made it stronger, better for the LeBron 16 silhouette. So that goes all the, around the, the upper. Then on the back of the shoe, you've got this leopard print or cheetah print. This was also on the red colorway that had released not too long ago. It's got gold swooshes, uh, one on the outside, which is more of a harder plastic metal material here. And then on the inside, it's got the gold swoosh, but it's etched into the uh, battle knit material on the upper. Then on the loop on the back of the shoe here, it's also got 16 etched in gold. So on the tongue of the shoe, you have the LJ for LeBron James, then you've got the signature here as well. Then this, the, the tongue is made of this leather uh, suede material. And then if you can really see, it's got this, it's got the king symbol that's etched into the, the, the material of the tongue. So you've got the signature on top of it, but then you've got this um, face of a lion that's etched into the, to the tongue of the shoe. So you've got a white midsole and outsole. You can see that there is this Zoom Air unit uh, built into the to the uh, outsole of the shoe. And while the outsole is white, you can see that there is this, let me try to close up for it for you guys. There, there's this gold silhouette of LeBron etched into the heel of the shoe. And then closer to the front, it's got the purple accent of the crown right here as well. So on the insole of the shoe, I don't know if you guys can see, they've actually got the poster pose of LeBron on the insole. So he's sitting on a throne with lions next to him. That is on the insole of this shoe. As you can see, Nike did not hold back at all when they put this shoe together. They wanted to make sure that it was only fit for a king, from the purple to the gold accents, to the animal print on the back, to LeBron sitting on a throne uh, on the insole of the shoe. Nike really went all out to make sure that LeBron's debut sneaker as a Laker at the home court would be nothing short of amazing. In terms of pricing, the shoe ran about $185 retail plus tax. Not too bad to get your hands on something this dope. Can't get it anywhere else except in LA this past weekend. But that's it for me, no long review. 
want to give you guys one last look at the LeBron 16 King Silhouette in Court Purple. This shoe is absolutely amazing. Again, it was a Los Angeles exclusive for his debut in the purple and gold. They really went all out on this shoe, sparing no expense on the materials. Again, making sure it's only fit for a king. But I wanna hear what you guys think. Do you like the silhouette? Do you think the purple and gold is dope? Do you think it's too much? Drop some comments below, show me a little bit of love. And until next time guys, I want you guys to laugh hard, love hard, dream big, and this is J-Rock out.